Hi everyone, this is part two of How to Play Apologise by One Republic. Um, this is very easy, it's the chorus. Also, if you haven't done part one, do that now before you go on to part two. Because it's always easier if you learn them in order. Um, like I said, this is the chorus, and it's very, very simple. Uh, I'm going to play it at regular speed first. Then I'm going to slow it all down and take you through it. There you go. very simple. Now like I said in part one, all the bass notes are going to be doing, all the bass is going to be doing with the left hand are C's, A flats, E flats, and D's. And that's what, that's all it's going to be doing throughout the whole song like I said in part one. Now the right hand uh, I'm just going to play on its own first. So, as you can see, it is very, very simple. Great song for beginners, actually, this is. A great song. Um, the first thing it's going to do, the right hand, is it's going to play E flat and B flat, like that. After it's played that, it's going to play B flat on its own. So, E flat and B flat, and then B flat on its own. Very simple. Like that. After it's played that, it's going to move on to a C, like that. So, again, I'll play it slowly. Right, now, after it's done that, it's going to play B flat, and then A flat, like that. So, play it very slowly. Play it once more. Now it's going to play in the chorus. Um, it's going to play that three times. That little bit there. So I'm going to play that three times. time it's going to do this like that now what I'm doing there is I'm playing E flat and A flat at the same time like that and I'm playing A flat on its own so it's similar to what you've already done you play E flat and A flat and then A flat on its own so and then after that you're going to play G, F, E flat, like that. So I'm going to play very, very slowly. Like that. Also, I was doing it with just one finger, so you can see exactly what I'm doing when I'm playing it slowly. So. Like that. Now I'm going to play it all through. Um, very, very slowly. Right, okay, now I'm going to show you where the left hand is going to come in. When you first play this E flat and B flat, the left hand is going to play a C octave, like that. So, and when you play E flat and B flat again, the left hand is going to play an A flat octave. So. And then when you 
play it for a third time, the E flat and B flat, your left hand's going to play an E flat octave. So again, back to the beginning. And then when your right hand moves on to playing E flat and A flat, your left hand is going to play the D octave. So again, I'll go back to the beginning to make sure you've got that. Okay, so that basically is the chorus. Also in this part, um, I just wanted to fill it in because it's such a small section of the song, it's the last couple of seconds of the song. And that comes right down here. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be playing this low E flat octave with your left hand. And your right hand is going to be playing E flat, B flat, E flat. And it's going to play that quickly in succession, so like that. And it's going to play that at the same time it plays this low E flat octave like this and also play, just to say because these are the last notes in the song play them very very gently you know just like this you know so don't play them hard just play them gently because the song's dying out and that's how it that's just how it should go right then so that's it really that's the entire song um check out part three to know about how, where, and all this goes together, and also I'll tell you about um, where you should hold the sustain pedal down. Um, yeah, that's what it'll tell you. Also, visit my um, website, morepianolessons.pixo.com. If you click on more information on the right side of the screen, um, you'll get a link to it, and on there you can. Um, look up information about the chords, about all sorts of theory and also there's a page on there which lets you keep up to date with songs that I'm doing, songs that I'm going to be uploading and songs that I'm working on, stuff like that. Um, and also, very importantly, if you are not a member of YouTube and you want to contact me, then you anyone can put a message in the shout box on my site. Right then, well, that's it. Um, subscribe and add me to your friends list because uh, you will get notified of any new video uploads. Say I've done one or two parts of a tutorial and you're waiting for the other parts. If you subscribe, then you'll get notified of it. Or if you add me to your friends list, then um, uh, I always put a message in the bulletin box every time I upload. And that will go into your bulletin box as well if you add me to your friends list. So please um, do that. And uh, well, that's it then. Uh, that's part two of Apologise. My name's Andrew, and I hope I taught you well.